King Charles is set to offer Harry and Meghan an olive branch by allowing them to stay at Buckingham Palace when they visit Britain in the future, the Mail on Sunday can reveal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are due to give up the keys to their previous British home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, later this year. But they may be offered Prince Andrew's old suite in the palace, where he once entertained the model caprice and disgraced socialite Gisseline Maxwell, whenever they need it. It is the latest move in the complex merry-go-round of royal properties set in motion by the king's plans to streamline the monarchy and remove perks from non-working royals. It is understood Charles has offered Frogmore to Prince Andrew, who is reluctantly set to leave the 30-room Royal Lodge mansion in Windsor where he has lived for more than 20 years. Discussions are underway as to whether Prince William and his family might move into Royal Lodge, which is understood to require extensive renovations, once Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah, Duchess of York leave. The Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children are currently living in the much smaller Adelaide Cottage in Windsor which is deemed unsuitable long term despite the family being very happy there. A source said Adelaide Cottage may be offered to Andrew's youngest daughter, Eugenie, who is pregnant with her second child, who was previously renting Frogmore from her cousin Harry. For years Andrew enjoyed the use of a suite at Buckingham Palace known as the Chamber Floor. But he lost his London bolt hole after he was stripped of his military roles and royal patronages over his links to the disgraced child sex trafficker and pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew agreed a huge payout to settle a U.S. lawsuit brought against him by Epstein victim Virginia Jufri, but he continues to vehemently denies any crime or misconduct. The Duke of York's belongings have been moved out of Buckingham Palace, including his collection of teddy bears and soft toys, which palace staff had to arrange precisely on his bed each day. Removal vans have also been spotted on the Windsor estate. Harry and Meghan, who now live in a nine-bedroom £12 million house in Montecito, California, after quitting the royal family three years ago, have been told they have until the autumn to move any belongings out of Frogmore Cottage. Last night, palace sources said that the couple will still be invited to the king's coronation in May despite Harry's outspoken criticism of his family in his memoir Spare. Sources close to the king and the queen consort say the couple were furious and wearied by bombshell revelations in Prince Harry's book, in which he described his stepmother as dangerous and claimed his brother William once pushed him to the ground in a furious rage. Harry has demanded an apology from his family in TV interviews but is not thought to have spoken to his father or brother since the book was published in January. A source said, His Majesty is furious, as is William. But the King is not a bad man. He has no wish to see his brother Andrew homeless or penniless. Nor does he wish to deprive the Sussexes of a base in the UK. London is a better fit. The Sussexes have always wanted rooms at Buckingham Palace.
They could have Andrew's old rooms there, which are currently being vacated. Other options under consideration are that the couple could stay at St. James Palace when required, or even Princess Diana's former home, the grand apartment one at Kensington Palace, which lies empty and is currently being renovated. According to sources in Windsor, Andrew has accepted he will not get to keep Royal Lodge, where he has lived for 20 years. He is said to have had plenty of time to prepare for news having first been made aware of plan when his mother the Queen was alive. A source said, Royal Lodge is far too grand and much too big for Prince Andrew's current status. Plus it is geared towards children, with its Wendy house and pool, so of course it has long been the natural choice for Prince William. Adelaide Cottage is too small for a future king and queen in the long term. There isn't enough room for all the security they and their children will need in the years ahead, which is why Royal Lodge was being openly discussed as far back as January. It has been an idea on the agenda for much longer than that, since the Queen was alive. Another source said that Frogmore Cottage has been offered to Andrew on a take-it-or-leave-it basis, adding, Andrew can have Frogmore Cottage or nothing. But at least Adelaide could eventually end up in the hands of one of his daughters. Princess Beatrice bought a £3.5 million Cotswolds farmhouse near Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire in 2021, which has undergone extensive renovations overseen by her property developer husband Edo Mapelli Mazzi. However Eugenie is yet to own a property, and until a recent move to Portugal was renting Frogmore Cottage from Harry. Expectant Eugenie, her husband Jack and their two-year-old son August, are eventually expected to return from Portugal to live in the UK. Another source added, if Adelaide Cottage goes to one of the girls, it will more likely be Eugenie, not Beatrice, who ends up there. 